A huge fire this morning just before 7 in the Metro East. This is near Belleville. And uh, there were also reports of explosions. Yeah, the home a total loss, as you can see behind Fox 2's Chris Renier, who is on the scene with more information. Chris. Randy John, good morning once again to both of you. We're just gathering new information within the last couple of minutes here. Let me step out and show you the scene as firefighters continue to work on this home. You can see it is destroyed by this fire. Several departments here on the ground continuing the battle hotspots get all of the fire out. We have an aerial truck still applying water, lots of it, to this home. And a few minutes ago, they were also applying water from the ground. During the commercial break here, I was able to gather some new information from authorities. We now have reports of eight to nine people who were living in this home. Fortunately, it appears at least at this point, nobody seriously hurt. I want to show you the view earlier from Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox over the scene here a short time ago when the home was completely engulfed in flames. You can get a good idea of just how intense this fire was. This all happened about 645 this morning. We have reports of explosions being heard at the scene. Authorities telling me just a couple of minutes ago that while there may have been eight to nine people living in this home, nobody was transported to the hospital. We initially believed one person was transported, but now we're being told by authorities that nobody went to the hospital. However, multiple people were treated here at the scene for conditions such as you might imagine, smoke inhalation and the like. Again, unconfirmed reports of explosions here, still trying to work that part of the story. We do know there are five to six fire departments on the scene here and that the state fire marshal has now been called in to try and come up with a cause. But I think at this point, we're still far away from that point in the investigation. As you can see right now, the priority remains just getting this fire completely out. We are seeing that white smoke evidence of them making progress, but clearly firefighters still trying to work this scene. So in terms of a cause and investigation and that kind of angle, that is still some time away from where we are now. We have authorities talking to multiple people on the scene here. Randy John, you can see just over to my right, police and fire investigators talking to folks at the scene. Unclear if those were people who were living in the home. There's quite a crowd in several different areas in front of what was a home here. Again, we are on the 8900 block of Route 163 near Belleville, just west of the Shrine of Our Lady of the Snows. So bottom line, Randy and John, good news. Nobody's seriously hurt in all this. More troubling news, home behind me, destroyed, just gutted by this fire early this morning, about 645. For now, live near Belleville in St. Clair County, Chris Renier, Fox News.